Givens. Gukaisen. On the paths where they once walked at Fort Carson. Van Dusen. Their names now echo through the loudspeakers. Carl. Forty-nine of them. Shram. Broomhead. And hundreds of tears for each one. Quinn. Dooley. McCorney. Latham. Byers. Eaton. Williams. Kirchhoff. Scott. Mack. Navia. The memorial itself is a simple one, a large piece of dark granite standing upright against the backdrop of the Rocky Mountains. The names of the dead soldiers are inscribed on it, and so are the places where they died. Places most of us had never heard of before last March. Fallujah, Ramadi, Nazaria. I think it's tremendous. I really do. Bill Pollard is one of those who came a long way for the unveiling. He's from California and he lost his son, Justin. I think he had found his niche here in the Army. And for the loved ones of soldiers killed in action, the memorial, they say, speaks to that soldier's bond with their other family, the Army, about the things they believed in and what they did to defend them. I know that he's in a, he's in a good place right now, and I know that um, uh, he left an impression with these guys. At Fort Carson, Paul Johnson, 9 News.